all those years on Larry King Live, I was on the same time Seinfeld was on. I never got to see him oh. until watching all the reruns, which I watch every night. Uh huh. Why does it hold up so well? We were very committed to making the show funny. That was very important. We also were not concerned with uh, morality, uh, uh, what's good and what's bad. So there was an honesty to the show, an unspoken honesty that was uh, unusual for comedy at that time. Now it's much more accepted, but at that time talking about dark things and admitting dark things about ourselves was not what sitcoms were about. They were about hugging. And like Jerry was not likable. He was not, nobody was likable really on the show, <laughs> and yet that's what made them likable. They were just like, a, a, look, Tony Soprano is not really likable, but you love him, you know? There's a charm, there's a charisma, there's a chemistry about it that transcends logic in a way. And also. you developed Kramer? Well, Kramer was Larry David's, uh, in real life, Larry David's neighbor, but on the show, he was very much relegated to uh, a, one beat. He would come in, do a joke, and leave. And I thought, Larry really has George, and Jerry is Jerry. But Kramer is an undeveloped character, so I, being more like Kramer in a lot of ways, I could take some of my characteristics and maybe inject them into the Kramer character, make him a little more eccentric, a little more paranoid, a little bit more extreme, and incorporate him into the stories. And they encouraged me to do that. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.